Oh shit. Careful. Can I not hit him? I hit all the others. There you go. Take your dirt now. Almost there. There it is, in fact. They gotta have guards on those towers. We need to watch out. We get as close as we can, clear them out. There's a lot of them in there. Alright. New plan. I don't have enough bullets for every one of their heads. So I have a different idea. Isn't there three of them? Yeah, whatever. You'll have to deal with the shitty outfit, Damon. As I get to keep the cool stuff. Unfortunately, no. I love plasma. As long as I get to keep the cool stuff. Five years of med school to be your pack ramen. Tuition well spent. Oh my god, there. Put that on. Fine, you can wear the body armor. I'll wear the fucking gimp outfit. Cool 
bastard. Ugh. Now I'm all chilly. This should let us sneak inside, bearing any uh, resemblance to my own face. You know what, didn't that guy have a hockey mask? Maybe I should put that on. We don't want him to know it's me. Probably know what my face looks like by now. Alright, let's go. Hopefully we can get inside and get to the sheriff. Or the soon to be sheriff. Alright, so far they're not shooting at us. I think this is gonna work. Somehow. It's gonna take some serious bullshit to get past the guard, though. Just follow my lead. Okay. <laughs> Found you. Ah, shit. Okay, that didn't work. All right, plans off, Damon. Take your shit back. As long as I get to keep the cool stuff. Yeah, this stuff is trash. Did I not take the key? Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Yeah, I can tell. Why'd you follow me into a fucking prison full of gangsters, man? Do you know how dangerous this, this is? Okay. You're a dangerous sort. I get that. But I have some information I think you'll find useful, which made me follow you for a spin. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. What's so special about these caps? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. So you collect these caps too, then? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. All right, whatever. You need to get out of here, though. It's dangerous. I barely got in with my life. I don't know how you snuck through. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Watch out! Excuse me. You must be Didn't minus. know anyone would willingly walk into this place. Not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? Uh, I'm looking for a man named Myers. You must be him. Why are you still here? I'm not quite sure the kind of greeting NCR troopers will give an escaped con like myself. 
Figure it's better to stay put for now. What'd you do before you ended up incarcerated? I was a sheriff, believe it or not, for a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. I helped speed it up one too many times. I'm not sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade, if you ask me. Yeah. How do you feel about becoming Prim's new sheriff? Assuming an NCR pardon comes with the job, and it had better. I also need to be able to do things my own way. Due process has its place. But sometimes it's just a waste of time. I'll need to know that I'm not going to end up right back in prison. I'll see what I can do. All right, then. Guess I'll just make a quiet exit. No need for a goodbye party or anything. All right, Damon. I think I had a couple cell boys. Let's fucking die. I'm going to find them. Whoa! Fuck out of here. Move, Damon. Move. Do not fight them. You got a whole fucking army in there. We're not dealing with this. At least I'm not. See ya, Damon. Tell you what, though, I do kind of want to check these trailers for some wonder glue. Oh, Actually, I could use that for some lead. Good as new. <sighs> Let me get back to print. And we made it back, finally. Safe and sound. We should go have a talk with the NCR over and across the bridge. See if we can convince a pardon out of them. So they don't have the resources to defend this place, so maybe I can use that as leverage. Excuse me, you must be the lieutenant. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? I'm here representing Prim. It's in dire need of some real law. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. Hmm. What, do you, what do you need to take over protecting the town? What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. I'd like to talk to you about protecting Prim. We were sent out here to hold oh, back the tide of shit. convicts from the... Have you gotten us any additional support yet? Uh, no, not yet. Maybe, uh, Knight Commander up in the hey. fort is my better chance. Bar wire fun. Yeah, probably better if I go talk to the fort guys. The Mojave Outpost. It's been a minute since I passed through there. I've tried to avoid it ever since Hopeville went up. Just so they don't get my name and face back on record on off the deceased list. I think enough time has passed, though. Well, how many years has it been? I can't seem to remember. 
Maybe I should go under a pseudonym. Just so they don't figure out it's me. You got a good nickname? God damn it, Damien. And I'll think of something. What's going on over there? Ugh, I don't have time for this. Let's just get to the I-15. that well, first of all it looks like pattern game is Is that a car? And we've had to travel a far away just for some fucking adhesive. go. Place the one that broke down on you. Bathroom. So I 
is this one locked? Ah, first day. Bitter dream. Now that's a find. It's a pretty powerful medicine. Not a lot of people know how to make them. It's kind of rare these days. Let me drop his gun. I don't want to take it, I just want to look at it really. Hmm. A police shotgun. Not much different from my shotgun. It does take 20 gauge. Interesting. Maybe it would be beneficial to have a 20 gauge around. What would be? Still no glue. Are they fucking huffing this shit now? Is that why it's so rare? Here, Damon. Hold on to the shotgun for me. As long as I get to keep the cool stuff. Five years of med school to be your pack robber. <sighs> Fine. Don't Take some of this shit bad. away. We don't need all of it. Uh, get rid of that dynamite. Saw it off repeater we don't need. Pulse pistol is garbage. Alright, take the police shotgun. We'll just dump the rest of this crap here. I certainly don't want that. We need the sledgehammer still. We'll hold on to the 14. It's good money. It's a valuable weapon. The rest of this crap, though, I could really live without. there's glue at this gas station? Maybe. Red scorpions. Cram's pretty alright, considering pre-war food. Mac and cheese. Hate eating it dry. Flour. Flour and yeast, I bet we could put, bake some bread. gun cabinet open.
We are carrying a bit of food. A bit too much, that is. Pack of cigarettes. Ah, we got the six one complete. These missiles. Get rid of those. They're valuable, but they're heavy. It's not that much a longer walk. We can just sell them when we get to the, to the place. Shit, an ambush. We saw us go in there. Better keep moving. I like it. I think it looks good on me. What do you think? Whatever, carry this shit. As long as I get to keep the cool stuff. All these missiles. There we go. Share the loot. I shouldn't be looking to pick more things up. But if there's ammo, I want it. And I'm over and come right again. I know it's the best for it. First of all, it's used to be out here. Buff out. Drugs can solve any problem. Now I feel strong. Jesus, it really took us a whole day to go back and forth between the correctional facility and... Oh, it's a... I didn't know what I thought that was. <clears throat> when the Rangers and the NCR merged, I remember that day. It's a shame when Carrie died. She was a good woman. Howdy. Howdy. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or... Uh, courier. Just need something for the logbook. Keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Although mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. Like to talk to you about Prim. Prim? A's units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. What can I help you with? Yeah, Prim has seen better days. 
It has. It was a promising trade town before the escape at the correctional facility. Lost a good bit of money at the Vicky and Vance. About that, though, uh, one of the convicts from NCRS or NCRCF is looking to, for a pardon so he can protect Primus, the new sheriff. One of the powder gangers? They've been nothing but trouble for us. Why would we want one of them anywhere in an official capacity? His sentence was almost up, and he isn't tied to the powder gangers. Uh, all right. If his sentence was closing up, I can see about getting him pardoned. Prim is important to our trade up from California, so having someone there who owes us a favor, that couldn't hurt. All right. See you around. Goodbye. Got that pardon locked and loaded. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Get some trade done. Ports. New face in the outpost. Must have come from the north. So, what do you have? Uh, do you have any new cola? I'd love some of that. Take a look. Just get rid of some of this crap. Soft spot for it. Let's see here. Don't really need any more supplies. We're good on that front. Use some more 357 though. And some 44s, but they don't seem to have any. I'll have to do unload some of this on you. Damon, uh, hand me that stuff we were gonna sell. As long as I get to keep the cool stuff. We'll keep the Bushmaster. We can get rid of that. I do want to keep that in my collection. The RCW can fucking go, though. I don't want that. Uh, are you digging that? Here, I got some ammo. Go ahead and just keep using that if you're liking it. We could always sell later. These missiles can go, though. They're heavy as shit. Background? Just my... You take those. Take this. Take that. There we go. Fine. Make for business. It's gonna be a long fucking night of walking. Let's get it started. Alright, let's go talk to Myers. Hey Myers, we got that pardon for you, bud. Thanks for getting me that pardon. Me and the boys will take good care of Prim. Don't you worry. Alright, have a good one. Watch yourself out there. Prim's restored. Got some law around here now. This.
Okay, folks. I called you out here because I've grown to trust you. Prim, the town to the south, is looking for some new law. I know that you guys don't have experience with law enforcement. At least not on the enforcement side. However, I also know that you are honorable and looking for some redemption. This is our chance for redemption. Now let's head down there and bring them some law. He's a good man. I can tell. Friends in good hands. I don't know why they're not following them. That kind of makes this awkward. <laughs> go. He's just going, isn't he? Huh. There we go. Brim's got law again. Finally get this fucking schoolhouse built in Good Springs. Put that away. While I'm over here, actually. Someone near Adobe. We should finally have everything we need to get that place all constructed properly. Sealed so no more critters get inside. Man, it took us like three quests and a couple episodes just to get this fucking house built. Sometimes I forget that I am capable of sprinting. Hey, Dean. Looks like Paul's had you busy on another one of his harebrained projects. Can't tell you how many of those I've been on. Which is it this time? Paul wants to tear out the windows and seal up the walls with this Wonder Adobe I made. Wonder Adobe? <laughs> I'm just wondering if this is going to work. Guess we'll see. Now about I take that tire iron and hammer, and you keep the sledge to bust up the big stuff, huh? You get all the fun. Anyway... We can use these nails and tack up those wood slats as backing for the plaster. Hey, you want to race? Last one there's a rotten, um, rotten... Wait, I don't think that turned out just right. Alrighty then. Let's get this place looking nice. The seam's all moldy. You ready for this? Hope so, cause it's gonna be a lot of work. I'm not afraid of hard labor. What do we need to start? Sledgehammer, window. Just pretend that window's the fella that shot you in the head and beat the shit out of it. <laughs> it ought to be good to let out that built up tension you got. Can't blame you too much for that though. Let's get to work. All right. Play the fucking house building theme from Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's get to work. You and Dean make one hell of a team. First you use a sledgehammer and Dean use a tire to remove the old window frames to get the studs in the wall. Then use the nails Dean found and nail up the wooden slats to serve as backing for the Wonder Adobe. The Wonder Adobe truly was a wonder as it smoothly filled in the spaces where the windows once were. It even came up with the great idea of using an old broom to push up the finish for a strong seal. The old chalkboards from behind the school worked perfectly to close up and seal the other windows. That should make things more weather tight and keep the Mojave outside where it belongs. You even helped Dean set up some temporary lighting. Don't forget to speak to Dean again so you can continue with the rest of the work on the school. Pretty. 
No power. Damn it. This guy's thirsty. Say, you're pretty handy with that sledgehammer. Uh, those walls looked out, turned out amazing. Yeah, that wonder adobe actually worked. Unbelievable. Might have to find some other uses for it later on. Paul should be real happy with these walls now. This place is sealed up almost as good as new. No critters, no dust, real nice. That's a fine piece of work, my friend. Here's your tie iron back and a little something you might be able to put to use sometime. I put these together with some old junk I had laying around. I'm heading back over to the shop for now. Oh, one other thing. Give Paul this note about the wiring in this place for me, will ya? Good thing. Put these away for now. Fucking heavy. Let's uh perform some maintenance on my carbine. Let's go see Paul. Hey Paul, we got it looking all nice and clean. Howdy. What can I do you for? Dean said to give you this uh, thing about the wires. Also, we got all the windows done. Damn fine job on those windows and walls. And Dean was able to get a look at the wiring too? Outstanding. I was really needing this assessment of the wiring so I can start designing the power system for it. I want it to be totally off the grid. But that'll take a while. Anyway, want to see what's next? Sure, what do we need to do? Did you wonder what that old terminal was good for? Well, it turns out I found a program on an old holotape I bought. I was picking the program apart, and I believe it came from one of those old vaults around here. Seems it'll interface with your pet boy and log what you're carrying in the inventory and sort it all out for you. It's called SIMS, or Computer Inventory Management System. A computer won't work without power, right? Yes, and we probably won't have the power on for a while, but there's still other things we need to do for this system to function. Besides that pit boy of yours and the terminal I'm fixing, we still need the storage containers it uses to stow your gear. I already have a few outside, you've probably seen them, but there's more we need to complete the system's requirements. Here, I got it all written down for you on this note. Will you see how many of these you can find? Can do. Alright, let's see here. Six mini lockers, he's got those. Three toolboxes, two med kits. Lone Wolf Radio's got some. Alright then. We found that earlier. Eh. We'll pick those up when we come back. Lone Wolf Radio it is. Check there next. The camper should have one. some vodka, we can make a couple ones of these.
good food you can make out here. up to Good Springs. See if we can find some toolboxes in the truck beds. There's one. I don't remember there being too many trucks in town. Shouldn't be hard to pin them all down. There's one. I think, was there one up at the gas station? Probably. Yep, there it is. lockers and we'll be good. Hello, friend. I wanted to give you a little something for what you did to help the folks here in Good Springs. Ah, oh, thanks. Okay, whatever you need. What else do we have? Well, the houses have lockings, I guess. Not the ones over there. I guess those are... He'll deal with those. We need full-size lockers. That's what it is. There we go. One's there. I'll have questions for you at some point. So we needed six of these. Might be hard to pin down. Somebody's got to deal with them bodies. It's going to start stinking up the place. lockers in these houses. I think the note said we could also check Good Springs Cave. Left of the road out of town. What the fuck is that? Hello there. Hey there, need anything? 
No, I just checked. Stays. Coyote gun, huh? There's some good bits around. Old cactus. Ah! Watch your step, Damon. This thing's stained. Here's coyote food. There's one with locker. We need a lot more. Should be good. Let's go check with him. Should have everything we need. Dean. Howdy. What can I do oh. you for? Oh, sorry. Do I not have a oh, I did. Don't forget if you need some repairs. station above the general store. Oh, the gas station. side. Looks like Ringo left. Here. 
said there should be one around here. It did say Poseidon Energy behind the general store. I thought this would be it. That's what he meant when he said behind the store. Where are these lockers? 